The pandemic led to a lot of trick-or-treating being scaled down last year, but this year pretty much a return to normal. And Jessica Gway has been out there amidst the fun throughout the evening. Hey, Jess. Hey, John, happy Halloween and kids really didn't get the full trick or treat experience last year, so they were really in for a treat tonight because many traditions returned and some new ones were added. Trick or treat! Ghosts, witches, princesses, superheroes and more took over Allegheny County community Sunday night. A skeleton unicorn. A grim reaper. Thank you. Neighbors on Dewey Street in Etna thought it was spooktacular. Halloween was almost back to normal after COVID-19 caused quite a scare in 2020. Have fun. Parents had the mask. They kept a distance and we had masks on. We didn't have too many kids. There weren't many trick-or-treaters last year. Are you Jasmine? Mm -hmm. You look very pretty. On Convara Drive in Ross Township, People set up tables and fire pits in their driveways, a new tradition that started in many neighborhoods last year. It's so nice because last year with COVID, you know, with everybody being afraid and everything, um, you weren't allowed to go up to the door. So people started putting their tables in, in their driveways and people came out in droves and had a great time. Have a nice night. You too. Have fun. Families felt much safer this Halloween. People are coming closer and interacting more. So it's been nice. I think that a lot more people are out and about and I think that it's just feels feels just like it always has. Kids ran house to house and filled their bags with treats. Sour Patch Kids, Twix. And COVID-19 did not give them a fright. Yeah, just giving people a, norm, a sense of normalcy and getting back to everything that they love to do. It's nice. I mean, it's still not normal, you know, but we're getting there. I think we are. Allegheny County 911 dispatch says they believe that this was a safe Halloween in the county with no reports of any trick or treat related injuries. Reporting live, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.